Hey y'all, Bobby here with Mississippi Gulf Coast Gardener. Today I want to wish each and every one of you a happy Valentine's Day and I got my Valentine's Day present a little bit early. Baker Creek Seeds. I'm so excited about these. I want to show you what I got and I want to get to planting them. Here's a quick little update on my seed starts. I've got 12 days since I planted these. And I want to start with the Chinese red noodle beans that Papa Pepper sent me. There's one there, and there's four more here, and those things are huge. Uh, they germinated in three days is all it took. And by the fourth day, they were six inches tall. Now, they're a lot taller than that. I'm gonna have to dig them out from under the lights. And two of the ghost peppers or three rather of the ghost peppers have germinated those are also from papa pepper one jimmy nardello pepper has germinated those came from patrice at patrice's projects so thank you guys so much for that then i got some calabash bottle gourds that i planted and um, these are jimmy nardello's sweet peppers as well but i've gotten no germination on those so that's what's going on there so far but we're going to get some more in today Okay, so here's the seeds I got from Baker Creek. We got the Amish Paste tomatoes. I'm gonna grow these instead of the San Marzanos this year because my San Marzanos never do good. And we got the Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato. I've always wanted to try these since they came out a couple years ago, but I haven't yet, so this is the year. Then we got a free gift of some purple Russian tomatoes. And man, everything I've read on these, they sound delicious. So I'm really excited about growing these. We're going to plant a lot of pepper plants this year, so I thought we'd try some different kinds. The arroz con pollo peppers are um, very hot if you leave the seeds in them, but they're actually supposed to be heatless if you take all the seeds out. So, interesting. Then, inspired by Mr. Dan over there at Home in the Sticks, had to get some Tabasco peppers because his plant looked so awesome last year. I said, i got to grow that. Then I got another free gift of some sweet chocolate peppers, which I've never heard of, but I did look them up and it looks interesting. So can't wait to give those a try. We got some cucamelons. I'm gonna try to grow a whole lot of those this year because these little things are delicious. And this year, instead of growing cantaloupes, I'm gonna grow these Melon Rich Sweetness 132s. I've never grown them before, but they're supposed to get about a quarter of a pound, which would be a single serving per melon and I can trellis these so that'd be perfect to keep those stinking rats away from them and finally the goji berry the black ones I have Chinese goji berries in my yard the red ones and when I saw these seeds I said man I got to try those so that's what I got from Baker's Creek this year Now we'll take and put these right inside here on top of the heating mat and we'll see how they do. Well guys, that is just a handful of what I'm going to be planting this year. I've got a lot more stuff that we're going to plant, but I wanted to show you what I got from Becker Creek because I'm excited about it. Spring is in the air and everybody's wanting to get those seeds in the dirt and I know you all feel it too because I've been watching your channels. Speaking of which, I want to take this moment to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. I've gotten a lot over the last month or two and I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button and share and be sure that you subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. As always guys, happy gardening. <laughs>